roughly one third of women in our community will have a cesarean section. It's the most commonly performed surgical procedure globally. And so I think it's therefore important for us to discuss what cesarean section is and some of the controversies around rates of cesarean section as well as uh, the need for cesarean section and the, ro and the role that it plays in providing safe care to mothers and babies, not just globally, but certainly here, right here for our patients in Melbourne. There's many things from a medical perspective with regards to cesarean section that we can also perfect. And that is things like where we place our incision, is it as low as possible so that you know, you can wear a bikini down at the beach later on and no one's going to notice. Uh, can we keep our incisions as small as possible, not only from a cosmetic point of view, but also if our cut is smaller, our recovery is going to be quicker and it's going to hurt less. How then we repair different layers of the, uh, the operation, the materials that we use. We're really lucky in, our, in the private sector that we tend to have access to the world's best materials with regards to not just the kind of suture materials we use, but also the closure, me closure mechanisms that we use to minimise scarring and to reduce the kind of pain that people will feel uh, post-operatively. So a lot of our research and a lot of our efforts and focus is on trying to work out how we can perform the best possible caesarean section given the resources that we have. A lot of our focus also is on how we can prevent any excessive scar formation. We use specific dressings uh, as well as specific equipment to try and reduce the, the risk of keloid scarring or hypertrophic scarring. Uh, and wound care up to three months after the operation is really, really important to try and ensure that our women have uh, the tiniest scars they can possibly have. The rate of caesarean section across the planet is increasing. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And whilst we might say, well, that's because it's a preference for many women or because um, people who deliver babies have lost a skill or expertise set that they used to have with regards to trying to get babies out using instruments like forceps and the like, or whether there's other reasons at play, I think it's worthy of discussion. Some of the reasons caesarean section rates are increasing are within our control, and some are entirely separate from what we can monitor and what we can control. There was a time, many thousands of years ago, that uh, we didn't walk on two legs, we walked on four. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen a gorilla give birth. They don't have obstetricians and midwives. They don't need them. A gorilla will be walking around on all fours, foraging around, will reach up, grab a banana, and a baby will just fall out. Their labors are generally less than one hour, and they have pretty healthy babies most of the time without babies getting stuck. Since we've started walking on two legs, our pelvises have become smaller. In addition, we've become a lot smarter, so our heads are getting bigger. We've got bigger brains, we've got bigger heads, and as a result, we need to start thinking about how we're gonna get our larger heads out of smaller pelvises.